Hi all, in this video we are going to draw an ellipse using parallelogram method. The question is, inscribe an ellipse within a parallelogram of sides 100 mm and 60 mm. The acute included angle is 60 degree. Also, draw the major and minor axis of the ellipse. So here, the dimensions of a parallelogram are given, that is 100 mm and 60 mm. Also, the acute included angle is given, that is 60 degree. So we have to draw the ellipse within this parallelogram. And after drawing the ellipse, we have to find the major and minor axis of the ellipse. So using parallelogram method, we can solve this question. First, we have to draw the parallelogram. So I am drawing a line of length 100 mm. And also I am marking the midpoint. I am naming it as A, B. And the center point is C. Now I am taking 60 degree using a protractor. And I am drawing a line of length 60 mm. Okay, now we can measure that 60 mm on compass and from B we can draw an arc. Similarly, I am measuring 100 mm on compass and I am cutting an arc. So we got a point and now I am joining that point with B. And I am completing the parallelogram. Also, I am marking the midpoint. And now I am going to join the midpoints of opposite sides of a parallelogram. So, I join the midpoints of opposite sides of the parallelogram and I am naming the parallelogram as A, B, D, E. Also I am marking the midpoint that is G, H and I. Okay, I forgot to mark the center point that is O. Anyway, we have to divide OH into equal number of parts. I am going to divide it into four equal parts. So I am drawing an inclined line and I am cutting four arcs. Okay, I am drawing the parallel lines. So using that points, I am going to divide OH into four equal parts. Okay, I got the points on OH. Okay, I got three points and I am naming it as one, two and three. Since the parallelogram is symmetrical about CG, I can measure one part and using compass i can cut arcs so we can easily divide the other side also into equal number of parts so i am naming it as four five six now i am going to divide h into four equal parts so i am drawing the inclined line and i am cutting arcs I am following the similar method. This is similar to the rectangular method for ellipse, right? Only small difference is there. So we got three points and I am naming it as one dash, two dash and three dash. 
Now I am going to measure one part on the compass that is H1 dash and I am cutting arcs on the other side. In this way we can easily divide HA into four equal parts. Similarly we can cut arcs on ID also. And now I am cutting our phone IB. Okay, I am marking points as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. On the other side, I am marking points as 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. On the other side, also 4 dash. 5 dash and 6 dash. Now I am going to draw straight lines from 1 dash, 2 dash, and 3 dash to G. Similarly, I am drawing straight lines from 1 dash, 2 dash, and 3 dash to C. Now I am drawing straight lines from 4 dash, 5 dash, and 6 dash to G. Similarly, drawing straight lines from 4 dash, 5 dash, and 6 dash to C. Now I am going to draw a straight line from C, and that straight line will pass through point 1 and it will meet 1 dash G. Similarly, I am drawing straight lines from C through point 2 and 3 and these lines will meet 2 dash G and 3 dash G respectively. So we got three points. Similarly, I am drawing lines from G through point 1, 2 and 3 and it will meet 1 dash C, 2 dash C and 3 dash C respectively. Now I am drawing straight lines from G and it will pass through point 4, 5 and 6 and the lines will meet 4 dash C, 5 dash C and 6 dash C respectively. Similarly, I am drawing straight lines from C through point 4, 5 and 6 and it will meet 4 dash G, 5 dash G and 6 dash G respectively. So, we got some points and I am marking it as P1. P2, P3, P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, P4, P5, P6, P4 dash, P5 dash, and P6 dash. Now we can draw the ellipse through all these points. Okay, 
we have to use thick line for drawing the ellipse Okay, our ellipse is completed and now we have to find the major axis and minor axis of the ellipse. Okay, now I am marking the center O. Actually, I had to mark the center much earlier. Anyway, I am measuring the distance OG on compass and I am drawing a semicircle. Okay, that is the radius was OG and the semicircle will intersect the ellipse at point j okay i marked a point j and i am joining point j and c okay we got a straight line and i am drawing a parallel line to jc through point o okay i am drawing a line through point o which is parallel to jc and that line is a chain thin line Okay, this is our minor axis and we can easily draw the major axis by drawing a perpendicular line to minor axis which is which will pass through point O. That is also a chain thin line because it is an axis. So this is our major axis. And I am naming the minor axis as K K dash. Okay, K K dash is our minor axis. And I am naming the major axis as V V dash. Where V and V dash are the vertex of the ellipse. Okay, now I am marking the dimensions. I am dimensioning the length 100 mm. Now I am marking the dimension 60 mm. We have to mark that angle also that is 60 degree. Okay, I am naming the curve as ellipse. KK dash is our minor axis and vv dash is our major axis so our drawing is completed we have to use thick lines for drawing the curve that is the ellipse and also use thick lines for drawing the major and minor axis so i hope you understood the drawing if you like the video, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also. Thank you.